Hey, how is everyone? Hey, I had to, um, first of all, I have a yarn haul to share with you, but I also had something else. Um, so I was scrolling through YouTube yesterday through my videos, and I don't know how I happened on this channel or this video, and I'll pull it up on my phone so I can tell you the exact name, but oh my goodness. It's a cooking channel, Italian cooking um, channel on YouTube. Let me see if I can find her. She made this wonderful looking lentil soup and I was watching it while I was making dinner last night and oh my goodness, I wanted to like stop what I was making and eat what she made. It was fabulous. So anyway, um, very simple recipe. Um, but I, I was missing a few of the ingredients, so I went to the store this morning and got the ingredients, so I am actually going to make it. There she is. It's called Buon Appetit. Buon Appetit? Um, anyway, so she has a cooking channel, Italian cooking channel on YouTube. She It's um, Italian grandma. Um, makes all kinds of different dishes. So yeah, oh my goodness, guys, go over and check her out. Um, if you like to cook, if you like Italian, wow. Okay, I love to cook, I love to bake. So um, of course some of this stuff I was like, mm, I don't know if I can do that. But anyway, yeah, it's called Italian Grandma Makes Lentil Soup. Um, so yeah, so I ran to the store this morning because there was a few things I needed in order to make the recipe. I did not have everything that she she had. Sorry, I'm trying to get off there. Okay, so I got some carrots. Yes, I can chop them, but I didn't feel like it. <laughs> I got some parsley. I think this is Italian leaf parsley. Mm, to throw in the soup. And let's see, I got some extra virgin olive oil because I did not have any of that. Mm. Gonna make this small shells. Yummy. She uses fresh tomatoes in her soup. I don't care for tomatoes. So I'm fine with canned. Um, so what I got was just these organic diced tomatoes um, that I will add to it, um, no salt added. Um, so I, if you're a tomato fan, go with the fresh. You know, that's totally cool. And then she used, for the top of it, she used um, just a Romano cheese. Well, I couldn't find any. I looked and looked and looked, and I did find Romano um, and Parmesan together, but I didn't find, so I just got this grated Parmesan um, cheese to put on, you just sprinkle it on the type on the top. Basically, it just has lentils, um, garlic, some salt, some bay leaves, which I already had all that, um, and then the carrots, onions, black pepper, tomatoes, one potato, and it's all chopped very small and fine, um, parsley, and and then, so you cook all that, then you add it together, then you boil the pasta, the small pasta, and add that, oh my goodness. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna make that for dinner tonight, but definitely it's gonna be this week. I am so excited, I've got all my ingredients. Yes, I went shopping this morning. I took the kids to school, I stopped by the sport, store, store, stopped by the store, and got all this stuff. So anyway, I'm so excited. Okay, so on to the yarn, I just had to share that. Um, I'm going to actually move over to the other corner um, to show the yarn because I have some of it here, but most of it is over at the other end of the room. So I'm just gonna stop, move over there, and we'll get back, all right? Cool. Okay, so we're back. I'm over in the other end of the room now with all the yarn. So now I can show you my yarn haul. Um, I have a mini yarn haul and then, well actually two minis and I'm kind of a medium size. Um, one from Walmart. I haven't been to Walmart in a very long time. And then um, today, just today, I think I went to Walmart last week. Um, 
But then today I went to, um, I stopped off at Hobby Lobby and then I went to Michael's. So I have those two to show you. So I have, oh, and when I was at the store this morning, I just have to show you this because I just thought, you know, I, I sh my bikes, you know, okay, well, I found these tea towels that have bikes on them. Um, I don't know here just open them up aren't they cute isn't that adorable oh I love them I love them there's two of them they came two in a pack so yeah I got those today at the store one has the, like the medium-sized bikes and this one has like the larger bikes I'll show you see <laughs> one has newspapers, one has presents, and then one has, it looks like, what is that? Like bread or wine or something? Hmm. Anyway, I just think they're beautiful. I love bikes. Um, I did find another bike coffee mug, but I decided, you know, I just bought a couple mo coffee mugs. I'm not going to buy any right now. So, okay. All right, on to the yarn. Um... I bought several things that I um, have not tried before um, and um, some colors, shades that I've not tried before um, just to, you know, I don't know, just because I like to try new things and um, then maybe I can share it with you guys. If I don't like it, then, you know. Some of it was on sale, some of it was on clearance. Um, some of it was not. Um, okay, first of all, I got this Karen Big Cake. Um, this colorway is called Blueberry Tort. I just think it's gorgeous, lovely, wonderful. Yeah. Sorry. And here we are again. <laughs> okay, so I've been having this problem with um, uh, somewhere in the middle of my videos. I don't know what happens, but m my my voice no longer matches my lips. I don't know what the problem is. I did talk to my brother because, you know, I'm not techie. I needed his, you know, help with it. It seems to only happen after I upload to YouTube. Like if I watch the preview on my laptop, no problem. It seems like once I upload it to YouTube, there's the problem. So I don't know what, so anyway, I, I did talk to my brother about it and he thought it might be, he wasn't for sure, but he thought it might be when I pause my videos and then resume, because I've been doing that a lot, because you know, I have lots of interruptions. I mean, you know, kids and, and we don't have a dog, but you know, just lots of Oh, I gotta stop just a minute, you know, but I didn't want to I thought it would be too choppy if I stopped and started a whole new video So I would just pause and then resume. He thought it might be that so he's like just stop it and start a new video if you have to and I was like uh. So I'm gonna try that and see if that helps, you know, because I know it is kind of annoying um, You know to sit there and you know, it's kind of like watching a, a bad movie You know that's translated into English, you know you know <laughs> so I don't want that anyway so well I'm gonna try it this way and hopefully it'll work but I may have to stop it and start it again several times but um and then I can just kind of piece them together after but anyway okay so onto the onto the yarn okay so I found this this is red heart hopscotch which I've never seen that before never used it before I think it's beautiful um, it's very soft. It's just acrylic, I think. Um, yeah, 100% acrylic. This colorway is called um, Hula Hoop. I thought that was very cute, very springy. It is very, very soft. Very, very soft. Um, it is a, let's see, it's a medium for, um, but anyway, how many yards does it have? Um, oh, 210 yards. So it's four ounces. Okay. So anyway, I got two of those. I thought that was cute. Um, 
Um, okay, when these first come out, I when they first came out, I thought they looked nasty, okay? But I decided I shouldn't, you know, judge without trying. So I did buy one of the Karen Latte Cakes. Okay, I just bought one. They were on sale at Michael's today. Um, so I got the colorway Earl Grey. That's what I picked, you know, because I'm a big fan of gray. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try it. I, it just looks like a hairy animal to me. Really, that's what I thought when I first saw it. I was like, ew, gross. Somebody shave it, you know? <laughs> that's what I thought. I mean, it is super soft, don't get me wrong, but I just could not see making anything out of it. But I, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it, and we'll see if I like it. If I don't like it, oh well. Somebody else can have it. Okay. Um, what else did I get? Oh, yes, here we go. Um, this is Yarn Bee Stripe Hype. I tried, never tried that. I got two of those. This is, let's see, mustard gray is the color. I really like those colors. Um, it is 80% acrylic, 20% wool, 3.5 ounces. So I got two of those. Um, Okay, these were on sale at Hobby Lobby. Ice cream, Lime Brand ice cream baby yarn. Um, it was like $4.99. Um, I thought it was pretty and bright and colorful. It's soft. It's called Banana Split. Cute. I've never tried this before. It's 100% acrylic. So I thought I would try this. So I got two of those. Are you having fun yet? <laughs> okay, another thing I hadn't tried was this Yarn Bee Rainbow Rhapsody. So I thought I'd try that. I got it in this colorway, um, gray, white, and pink. It's called the Slate Divide. So I got two of those. This is a 60% cotton, 40% acrylic blend. Um, and it's seven ounces. So it's a very thin um, yarn, very thin. Um, sorry, my nails are kind of chipping really bad. Um, it is a, what is the weight on it? It doesn't say. Hmm. Anyway, it's a 3.25 uh, 3 millimeter hook. To use so it's it's a pretty thin um, but it's really pretty and it's very soft so I like that I got two of those um, this is another one I had never seen or used it's Lion brand ZZ twist I have no idea what this is I don't know what I'm gonna use it for but I want to try it um, it was on sale and this color is called peacock it's like a very rich blue very pretty um, and this is 100% acrylic. Um, it's a medium for weight. Yeah, it's, so, yeah, I'm going to try that. I got two of those in, um, I got a gray, this gray, is it a gray? Taupe, I'm sorry, taupe. So I got taupe and the peacock. So I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Um, I may search Lion Brand for some, because there is a pattern on the front for a cowl, it looks like. I may search lionbrand.com um, for free patterns for this. Um, it's very beautiful. It's very soft. But, um, yeah, it kind of looks like cord, almost, if you can see it. Can you see that? It, it's, yeah. Anyway, so there you go. It was on sale. Um, Where should I put these? I don't know. Okay, this is what I got at Walmart. Um, Mandela Ombre. I thought that was so pretty. My mom was actually making a baby blanket with this same 
um, Mandela Ombre, but not this colorway. It was a different colorway, but um, it was so soft. And she's like, I was like, Mom, where did you get that? She said, Oh, I got it at Walmart. And I was like, You're kidding me, because I have not seen these anywhere. Never. I I I go to my three stores, Joanne's, Michaels, and Hobby Lobby. I've never seen these. So I went to Walmart, and sure enough, there it was. Um, this colorway is called Tranquil. Um, and it is, it's 100% acrylic, it's 5.3 ounces. It's a four medium weight, so I thought that was really cute. I think it was like $4.97, so, ooh, cute. Um, oh yes, oh yes. Okay, I hadn't tried this, Red Heart, I don't know if that's Higgy Hi Charm, Higgy Charm. How do you pronounce that? I don't know, but this was on sale at Hobby Lobby. I got, it's got sparkles in it. Um, it was for $9.99. Um, see, this is called Shooting Star. So it's just a gray with sparkles in it. I thought it was really pretty. Um, oh, use a eight millimeter hook for this. So it's a little thicker, um, but I got this and a crate, like a, This is called Meteor. So this is like a, a pink, very pale, very pale pink. So it, but it's the same type of yarn. So I got that, I'm gonna try it. I don't know, again, what I'm gonna use it for, but uh, um, I just wanted to try it. So I will. Okay, let's see, what else did I find? Now, this is what I found at Walmart. Another comfy cotton blend. I love these. I'm using, um, well, one right now, I think it's the chai latte. I had lost the label, um, but I believe it is the chai latte. Um, but anyway, I found this, and it's gorgeous. This colorway is called Mocha, Mo Mochaccino. Oh, Mochaccino. So I got that. Um, I got two of those. These are at Walmart. I and then the other thing I found at Walmart was the Lion Brand Ferris wheel. Two of these. Look at that. Do you see those colors? Ah, oh, knock me over with a feather. This is called Morning Java. So, you know, the t two coffee yarns, you know, they just attract me. I'm just like, you know, bees to honey or something. And I think I hear my husband. I think he's home from work, so I'm going to have to stop and restart again. <laughs> the fourth time. That's all right. Okay, I'm back now. <laughs> back again. Okay, so yeah, I got these two. I got two of each. So I really want to... I thought they would be really pretty together. Uh, making something. I don't know what, but I thought they'd be really pretty together. They're both really soft. I think this is acrylic also. Yeah. This one is acrylic cotton. This one is just acrylic. So, yeah. Um, what's that? <clears throat> okay. I also found this at Walmart. This is called Red Heart. Well, this is Red Heart. Hello, gorgeous. Yeah, I know. That's what I thought too. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think of the name. Anyway, um, so yeah, I loved these colors. Um, it's acrylic. Um, the color name is Sedona. It is a four, medium four. Um, it's five ounces. So I got two of those. Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, this other thing I found at Walmart, Premier Puzzle. Yes, I almost, almost, um, almost didn't even see it. Um, I didn't know Walmart carried Premier, did you? I didn't. Um, so I picked this out. It's like, um, very pale um, pink, some purple and some orange. Very pale, very pale, but it's really pretty. It's very soft. Um, 
The colorway is Cat's Cradle. Um, it's a five bulky. It's 328 yards. I believe it's all acrylic. Yeah, it's 100% acrylic, so I got two of those. This would make a really pretty baby blanket or hat or whatever. It was, it's, oh, it's so soft and so pretty. So yeah, but I thought that was cute. Never seen that before. They did have a couple other colors, but I really liked this one. So, and I don't normally go for these colors. I usually like dark, you know, bold, but not this pale pastel-y. That's not really me. Mm -mm. But remember, I'm stepping out. I'm trying to, I'm trying new things. Yeah, so. Okay. Haha. <laughs> okay. And I, I got two more of these. These are my, I love these. I love these. I can't help it. Um, the um, Super Saver Ombre. Yeah. I've, I've used it. I used it to make my shrug. I used the gray and the coral. This is called True Blue. I love this. It is soft. It's beautiful. Um, and I also... Got the purple too! <laughs> well, not purple. What is this called? Oh, it... Purple. Okay, there was one that was actually purple. This to me is like, I um, I don't know. It's not purple. That's like this is like a um, like a mauve almost, like a dark mauve. This is not purple, but it's called purple, so I'm not gonna argue with them. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with the label. But anyway, so I got these two. love these I love how they work up I love the the way they look when you when you crochet with them um, and after you wash them they relax they're soft I, I just I've fallen in love okay I'm oh good heavens oh there's a spider hang on okay I had to kill a spider spider was in my yarn that is not even funny. Okay. My yarn is not ruined. The spider's dead. We can move on. Okay. I hate spiders. Okay. I have so much trouble. <laughs> oh my God. I got more of the lime bread scarfy. <laughs> Yes, in this dark blue, it's called Denim and Navy. Yes, there, there you go. Yes, I got three of these. Because I'm going to make that cardigan I showed you, and I'm going to make that poncho, and both of them use this. One is going to be like the teal gray or teal sil silver, I think, and then this I'm going to use. I'm not sure which... I think I make, may make the cardigan with this dark blue and then the poncho with the teal and silver um, just because I don't know if the design would show up very well with the very dark colors where the teal and silver is just a little bit lighter, just a little bit. But anyway, so I got three of these. It is so soft. It is so comfortable. It's so warm. Even though I do prefer things that I can just throw in the wash and and not have to worry about cold water lay flat to dry, I don't care. I love this Lion Brand Scarfie. I love it. Why does this camera keep moving? I am sitting here still. The desk is still and it's I see it moving. Okay. Maybe that's a sign I need to hurry up. Okay. I'm trying to hurry up. I really am. I trying. Okay, I got these at Hobby Lobby. This is Yarn Bee Katarina in 
There it goes again. It was moving. I saw it. I'm not touching a thing. And it's moving. Why? Sunday Promenade is, well, um, the, and the, that's the name of the colorway, but can you see that? Isn't that gorgeous? I got two of them. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I'm going to use it. And look at that. It's moving. Why is it moving? Help me. Okay. Um, Is that all that I, is that all the yarn I got? Oh, I got some books to show too. Let me put these back really quick. So I've been wanting to make some hats since it's getting into cooler weather. So I found this book, Slouchy Beanies. So I have not really had a chance to sit down and look through it yet, but it has some really cute hats. It has a couple um, like ear warmer type things down here, some hats, slouchy beanies. Yeah. So I thought I'd try that out since I have plenty of yarn <laughs> that I don't know what to do with. And then the other thing, I saw this, I don't know if you've seen in magazines where um, you can subscribe. Um, or get a subscription to, um, I don't know, I saw it on Annie's for Annie's Crochet, and you make these sample blocks, or not sample, but a block of different stitches. Each block is a different stitch, and then you put them all together and make an afghan. Okay, well, I was wanting to do that, but I don't want to have to, you know, order the stuff and, you know, get online and do all that because that's too much trouble and so anyway, but I saw this 63 easy to crochet pattern stitches. So you combine them to make an heirloom afghan. So that's basically what it is. Each block is a different stitch and you can do them in whatever color you want. And this will be simple. I could make like a block a day and then you just stitch it together and you have an afghan. I thought that was so neat. I'm so excited. And I could do it in some wild colors. I could do it in striping yarn. Here's the other box. But I was like, whoa! And this was only six bucks. So, and it has all the directions in there. All the directions in there. Get out of town! So, yeah, I found that. Woohoo! So, I did get a few other things. But I am so tired. I think I'm going to stop there. And because I've already stopped and started like seven times. Killed a spider. Daughter needed water. My husband came home. <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid if I keep going, we may have a collapse. Anyway, so um, there was something else I was going to say and I can't remember now. Oh, so we stopped off after we went shopping today, um, stopped off at Chick-fil-A. We have a Chick-fil-A that just opened here in town. And I don't know if you've never eaten at Chick-fil-A, but they have the best chicken. The best chicken. I have never eaten there before. Um, my son had when, he, you know, his basketball team, they go to away games. There's Chick-fil-A's in other towns, but there wasn't here in our town. And he said, yeah, mom, it's pretty good. So anyway, I had to try it. They just opened up like maybe two weeks ago here in our town. Um, so I did go there. And everything that everybody was saying about their chicken was right. Their chicken is so good. But, 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 stop, 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 wait, wait. I got their iced coffee. Yes. Vanilla iced coffee. And I'm telling you. I would just go back there for the coffee. It was better than Starbucks. And I am not, I'm not joking. It was not bitter. It was not overly sweet. It was just right. The coffee had wonderful flavor. It was very smooth. Yeah, that's what I'm drinking. It's gone now. But yeah, Chick-fil-A iced coffee, vanilla. They have um, either vanilla or caramel. Or you can get a plain iced coffee. Yeah, dude, go there. Seriously. 
if you like iced coffee, go there. I think you can get a regular coffee too, but I, I usually go, I like the iced coffees. Um, but yeah, good stuff. Ooh, this has a pattern on it. Square up crochet blanket. Ooh, guys, look at that. I just found it on this nasty hairy yarn. Look, ooh! Is it? Is it free? It's a free pattern on the label! <laughs> My brother is getting kind of tired of me emailing him when I find a pattern, a downloadable pattern online that's free. I'll just email it to him because he has a printer. We had one, but it pooped out on us and we just haven't bought a new one. So anyway, um, cause there's so much trouble. You have to buy the ink and you have to buy the paper and you know, we have to have it set up somewhere close to where we would use it. And it's just a, such a huge hassle. So anyway, when I find a pattern, a downloadable pattern, I email it to my brother and he prints it off for me. So I've had him print off like four patterns now. So he's probably going to be very excited that I don't have to ask him to print off another pattern. <laughs> I do pay him in in brownies and cookies though. He loves my brownies and cookies and pumpkin bars and all that. So I bake for him and my dad and so that's that's his payment. So anyway. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go I think yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the yarn haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my fun stuff, and um, hope you have a good rest of your day. Go to Chick-fil-A, get their chicken, get their coffee, and have a wonderful, blessed day. Thanks for watching. All right. Bye.